We've got some fresh new young talent. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Hip, hip, hip Operation Crew. It's about to go, b- b- about to go down. One, two, three, four. Ah! I was injured in the Christchurch earthquake and when I was in that earthquake I thought my gosh I don't know if I've even done as much as I want to do in my life so I moved to this little island Waiheke Island which I'm at now and the people that I was you know meeting every day uh, were senior citizens you know in the shops and that and they had the same attitude as me like oh my gosh I'm gonna die and have I done enough so then what I thought is I'd start a dance group and I've got, I'm not a dancer at all got no idea how to dance anyway I noticed that they I mean they loved it and then I set them up and said right you're now a hip-hop dance group this is what hip-hop is and in eight months time you're gonna perform at the world hip-hop champs and everybody said well how can you get a whole you know, bunch of senior citizens to the Olympics of hip hop in eight months time because I had one person who was blind, a whole lot of them have dementia, the average age is 80, um, I've got no dance experience, who on earth were we kidding? But eight months later we were performing at the um, World Championships for hip hop and um, they're now in the Guinness World Records as the oldest dance group in the world. I, I live on my own. If I don't go out and join things, I might have to stay at home and cry. I love music, you see. Music is my subject. And uh, keeping on the beat is very good. I think you need to have good genes. That's the start. And then you just have to you do have to do things that are dangerous. If you don't do that, well, you're not having a really happy life. Because it's so nice when you when you stop. <laughs> it makes me feel I'm alive and and probably a bit younger. I had my 96th birthday on Tuesday, so it made me feel as if I wasn't as old as all that. I came from a really awful background and I don't have any contact with any family and now my life is completely transformed. I've now got this really close-knit family, um, I've got mothers coming out of my ears, I've got sisters in the hood in the crew coming out of my ears and it, for me it's been absolutely life-changing. Um, I now feel connected with the world. I used to think the world was like an unhappy place and now I'm just like surrounded with all these great, amazing women. <laughs> 